Hi, you guys. This is Renata. I came across an old talk show recording where a guy was doing his call and someone called in who said he was a perpetrator. And he gave some information that I think might be helpful for us. So I want to share it with you. He talked um, about the directed energy weapons. He talked a very little about the stalking. They didn't ask him much about stalking. I wish they would have, but we're grateful for whatever information we can get. Um, he talked about chemicals and how they use chemicals. He talked about how they are trained on using the directed energy weapons. Um, so I, I think that we can get something out of listening to what he says. It's a little hard to uh, understand because he's using a voice changer and he's not talking very loud. So I'm hoping you guys can hear it. But I think um, also listening to him will maybe answer some questions that some TIs have about how these perpetrators become involved in targeting uh, people. I don't think this is the only way, but I think what he says, uh, the reason why he got involved, I think this is one of the ways. He's saying that if he would not have gone along with targeting, that his entire family and everyone he is associated with would be tortured. And so he says that is his reason for becoming involved. But I will let you guys hear it for yourself. Um, at the end, it's probably about seven to ten minutes at the end. I'll come back and I'll um, recap what he says just in case you guys didn't hear it. Okay? So here it goes. Hello, who is this? Uh, just a listener. You're talking to a perpetrator, honey. Hello. I'm gonna, hello, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I am. I'm uh, uh, to find perpetrator. We're calling you a perpetrator. Why do you have a voice disguiser on? I am not. Um, I just don't give out my voice or identity. Uh, I'm a really good guy, I promise. Uh, but, uh, uh, well, tell us why you're here. Why are you here then? What about this subject intrigues you? Have you been a victim or are you a perpetrator? I have been a victim and I am afraid to let my identity be known. What have you been a victim of? I have been a victim of harassment. And I have also went through the school that she is talking about. What he's saying what is, is what he is saying is is he went to the school to become a perpetrator and I can guarantee he tried to get out of this crap and they targeted him, correct? I had no choice but to give in. They were going to abolish my entire family and I had no choice. And see, that's another thing that I'm talking about here with these perpetrators. A lot of these people are forced. Uh, uh, I know that, that some of these people that are criminals, that have been in, whoever has been in trouble with law enforcement, they are told, you will do this to you, this person or we will send you back to, ch to jail. So what this man is saying is he didn't really like doing what he had to do to people but he was forced to, and he went to that school I was telling you about where they train you how to harass and hurt people. Am I correct? They train us on everything, how to use uh, plasma weapons and uh, microwave weapons, uh, weapons of manipulation, and getting people to conform to breaking a law in order to keep prisons financially secure, uh, you name it, it's going on. So when he 
when these people try to say I'm crazy and this is all in my head and that I'm not being harassed and gang stalked and hit by plasma weapons or microwave weapons, I am not crazy, am I? This is actually happening to me, isn't it? It actually happens and it is uh, a growing thing. Initially, um, what's happened is a lot of when they abolished slavery, um, they formed a new approach to slavery, um, where it uh, picked on the poor in order for certain businesses to thrive financially. And as the economy gets worse, then the need for more and more people to be manipulated into breaking the law and doing things that will help bring money into the prisons and support certain levels of the government um, is even going on now more so than ever. So are, are you still involved in this perpetration? Uh, if so, why? I do what I have to do in order for my family to stay alive. It's not a matter of prison. That's a mild way of putting it. These people will... So what you're telling me is you have no balls. You have no way to stand up to these people. You decide to go ahead and join them. Well, I'm here on this phone call, aren't I? I'm trying to be uh, informative and let you know uh, what is going on uh, without getting too known about it. Uh, if you'd like for me to go, I can go. But I believe I have a lot of valuable knowledge you'd probably like to hear. Yes, we do want to hear it. What he is saying is, he, he what he is telling you is, he doesn't like what he's doing, but he has to do it. Otherwise, they will do these things to his his wife and his children. They will torture his family if he doesn't do what they tell him to do. Am I correct? They will torture everyone around me that has any kind of uh, relation to me. And I have no choice but to do this or they will... Uh, it isn't even a matter of my own life. Uh, it's as important as some of the people that are in my life. They would rather keep me alive, thinking that no one would ever believe what I have to say. And therefore, but once um, I rebel, then they will end my family. And that's why he's disguising his voice. Because if they hear his voice, they'll come after him. Let me ask correct. you something. Uh, as far as the weapons that you're talking about that they have trained you to use on us, is there any way that we can protect ourselves from it? The, um, there are certain ways that you can avoid the video uh, overhead surveillance and the uh, rays of neutrons and stuff like that getting sent from space, um, but you must have mirrors um, uh, on the uh, roof portion of your home, not necessarily does it have to be exposed on the outside, but you must have mirrors. Uh, in your ceiling at least to help bounce those rays um, away and they have to be at least an inch and a quarter thick in order to work effectively but you know there's several other ways they can go about it as far as chemicals are concerned and um, toxic you know, things they can do. They can spray your soil at your house with a chemical that will not degrade for five years. That will, every time you come out your front door, will expose you to uh, the elements and cause you to be ill and attack certain um, uh, neurons and in your brain that will cause you to act a certain way to where you will, you know, want the urge to either drink or do drugs or it's certain ways of mind manipulation 
that will cause you to pour money into the system. And they know as you being a targeted individual to follow you uh, and wait for you to make the mistakes that they're counting on you making so that they can continue to grow their businesses in the government institutions. What about the poisons that they use when they come in your house? What what kind of poisons are they using? Um, you know, for the most part, your pesticide guys and stuff, they come in spraying, um, you know, insecticides and stuff that will, it's hard to actually get in. A lot of people think that that's one of the easier ways to get in and do stuff. But usually what will happen is it's so much easier than to have to send someone in person to spray the baseboards of your home to infect you. They All they have to do is drop five ounces of liquid material into your um, heating and air system, and it will not degrade for, again, like the lawn. As a matter of fact, it's actually longer. It's 10 years. But it, it will stay and be produced through the air in your home continually, year after year, and slowly affecting certain transmitters within a person's brain that will cause them to do a particular thing. It causes depression, doesn't it? It will cause depression, and uh, it will cause uh, you know paranoia, but a lot of times. They, depending on what they use, it can actually, it can excite you. It can make you feel like it's time to go to the bar and drink and get drunk and possibility of getting a DUI. So they're starting in that way that DUI costs anywhere from 700 to over $1,000 and they can label you as a criminal and then they just target you even more to try and make money off of you. A lot of times they don't try to make depression an issue because they want uh, you to actually um, get out and about so that they can stalk you. But they sometimes can't have negative reactions. Those people who are aware of what's going on, who are in that paranoid stage, who keep themselves hibernated, will experience the depression. If they don't realize what's happening, uh, then, of course, they, they usually don't suffer from depression. What exactly does the microwave weapon do to somebody's body? Oh, it can take off arms, burn, uh, you know, without, without bleeding it can. Uh, and it will, uh, you know... It's even been known to uh, to catch flesh on fire, um, but uh, it won't. Uh, they generally like to do it in mild doses. It keeps you still alive. Still keeps you as a a product of the uh, government with a social security number that they can profit off of. Um, so they will generally attack people who have high IQs uh, in order to help keep uh, things from being exposed. But when it comes down to it, uh, I really need to go because I feel like I've been here quite a long time talking. And uh, I just want to let you know that this is a real deal and it shouldn't be played around. But I have to go. Okay, you guys, I really hope you guys were, were able to hear that because he really gave a lot of information. Um, I personally think that he really is a perpetrator. Um, and he gave us some, some information, you know, because as TIs, we have a lot of questions and we assume a lot of things. We've done our research, but 
is nothing like hearing it from the horse's mouth. And I personally do believe that that man really is a perpetrator. Um, why he felt privy to call in to that guy's um, conference call, I'm not sure. But um, I was kind of glad when I came across that because it answered some questions that I had about the targeting. Um, so let me just recap some of the some of the things that he said. Again, he says that he is participating because if he does not participate in the targeting, that his family and everyone around him will be tortured. So that may answer some questions that some people may have about why people target people. Now, I don't think that that is the only reason why people get involved in targeting. I think that money is the motivator for most people. But in this particular guy's case, he says that he was forced into it. I have heard that um, ex-convicts are sometimes um, approached. And I, I don't really like using the word forced, but we'll just, you know, for the sake of this conversation, we'll say, you know, that some people are forced. But I, I just think that we always have options. Um, but I know that some ex-convicts, uh, gang members, um, drug dealers, people like that are approached and forced into this okay again i'm really not comfortable with that word but it is what it is some people feel that they are forced um he also said that he attended a two-week training course where they um taught on they instructed them on targeting tactics as well as how to use um, weapons. He says the weapons that he was trained on are plasma weapons, microwave weapons, and weapons that will manipulate a person. Okay. He says that one of their goals is to uh, to get people to break laws, which we as TIs we know that because they want to get you in one of their systems. He says that this is a new approach to slavery. And that was an interesting way of putting it because I, I agree with that. It, it is slavery. It is a form of slavery um, to target people and to take, take their rights away and things like that. He says that uh, this is done so that the businesses will get financial gain. And I think everyone knows that whenever you get someone in the prison system or and to the mental um, mental institution, they get paid. They get paid um, at the mental facilities. They get paid for every um, patient that they have in the prison system. They get paid for every prisoner. Okay, so this goes back to the greedy corporations. Okay, um, he talked about the the. Um, he talked about how you can shield yourself from the direct energy. He says that you can put mirrors on the roof, but they don't have to be on the outside of the roof. He said on the ceiling. So I don't know exactly how that works. I never heard anyone mention that. But obviously, um, mirrors help to shield in some type of way. He says that the mirror should be at least a quarter of an inch thick. If you want them to work effectively. Okay. He also mentioned that some of the pesticide people are involved in um, spraying uh, your soil outside of your house. And uh, dropping, he said, five ounces of liquid. He said all they have to do is drop five ounces of liquid, some sort of liquid material. He didn't name it. But this is good, very good information for people who get um, the chemicals. This is really good information because there's not a lot of information out there on the chemicals. So he, he didn't say which type of chemical, but he did say that once they um, they drop this liquid or they spray outside of your house, that that could that one um, application of these uh, poisons of these chemicals can last for up to five years. 
And he also said that they can put these chemicals in your heating or uh, like your um, your heater in your home or your um, air conditioning system. And that would last up to five years as well. And he said that that would cause um, depression, paranoia, um, or even excitement where you want to go out to drink, you know, party, do drugs. And all of this is done so that they hopefully can get you to drunk drive, a speeding ticket, uh, get you into a fight or something that will get you into the criminal system. So it's all trying to criminalize a person. He says that uh, she had asked the question if these weapons um, cause depression. And he says, yes, they do cause depression, but that's not their main goal. He says, if you stay in the house, that you're going to get depressed. And they know you're going to get depressed. And we all know that, too. But he said they'd rather have you out so that they can stalk you. OK, and again, that whole stalking thing is about mind control and uh, setting you up, you know, to get you to go off on someone or you guys know how that goes. Anything to try to get you in the system. Uh, he says that those um, microwave weapons um, can cause burning, which we know. Um, he says that they can even take your whole arm off. They can take a limb off without any bleeding. Um uh, but he said that they they administered the microwave um, radiation in mild doses. And he says they do that because they want to keep you alive. Again, for financial gain. That's why they want to keep you alive. So they just lightly torture you. In their opinion, it's light torture. But for the TI, it's not. But um, the frequencies obviously are low because those um, weapons have the ability to do a lot more damage. If they wanted it to. He also said something very interesting. He said that they generally like to attack people with high IQs. He didn't go into that very much. But he did say that, that they like to attack people with high IQs. Which is interesting to me because I think that most people in the TI, um, TI program who have been put into this program, they seem to be very intelligent people. So when he said that, that was very interesting to me. So it just kind of shows how they really do follow you. They observe you. They follow you through life, probably from a small child for some people. And they kind of know, you know, um, who really does have um, a high intelligence level. So, you know, I just thought that um, I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that you guys can get something out of what he said. It kind of uh, resonated as truth to me because, you know, as we go along this targeting journey and we're targeted for years, we kind of can see patterns. And some of the things that he mentioned, um, I kind of already suspected or read somewhere or heard someone talk about. So I, I do believe that what he was saying is true. Um, and actually, I pray for him because when these people disclose information, it's not good for them because they're not supposed to tell anything. So for him to do that um, makes me want to pray for him. Makes me want to pray for him. And um, I, you know, I feel sorry for anyone who feels forced to do something like that, because that's not an honorable job that anyone should have. That is that is not a way to make money. Now, I'm thinking that, you know, they tell these people these things, you know, to kind of coerce them into going along. But I mean, who knows? They probably these people are evil, so they probably will harm their whole families. I, I don't know. I wish he would have gone more into that so that we could understand how that aspect goes as well. But nevertheless, he should not be involved in that. Um, he didn't really tell us, you know, what he does or how the stalking goes. But I think that we were able to gain some information. I think it's good to know about the chemicals. And it's also good to know that these chemicals can not only harm you medically, 
but they can manipulate your emotions. As he says, they can make you want to go out and party. You don't even know why you want to party. You don't know why you're saying what you're saying or why you're feeling what you're feeling. So he shared with us that that can possibly be these chemicals that they're using. So I hope that you guys um, got some information out of that. And if it's a little low for you, maybe you want to listen to it again because um, the, the, the mirror information was also good for the people who get the um, electronic harassment or any of the direct energy. Maybe you can you can use mirrors. Maybe that can be a way of shielding. I'm not exactly sure how you will put them up around your house. He mentioned putting them on the ceiling. I really that would look kind of strange in my opinion. But, um, you know, maybe maybe you can figure it out or maybe there's some more information on the Internet about that. OK, so thank you for listening and please rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you and God bless.